hard80sradio.com. It just rocks. Next time, tell us. So, all right. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. She says, I have a funny story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who had an Anthrax album she listened to every day. Oh, no. One day, oh, her friend no. Curtis oh, no. told her he had an even better album oh. from a band called Legs Diamond, and he would trade her for Anthrax. Wow. She was so excited to hear this new band, so she did. Oh. To this day, this poor girl has never trusted a single soul. Oh, the end. man. <laughs> Oh, you, you were. Know, no, no, what hold on. We, were. Don't, we don't know what Curtis she's <laughs> oh, talking we about. Do know well, that, we do. We know exactly what Curtis she was talking Lisa, about. Lisa, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embarrass Lisa because, I mean, this was like, what, 30 years ago now, maybe even longer, 35. At least, and I, I think we. Well, you know, when you're like ninth or 10th grade, you, you date kind of, you're like going out, but you really never get together because neither one of you can drive. So you just talk a lot on the phone. And, uh, I think our whole relationship boiled down to this record trade. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I fucked her and I fucked her good, <laughs> but, uh, not in that sense, but in the musical sense, for sure. Um, but, but what happened was, yeah, I, don't, I was, yeah, you'd... I was also into the new rock, you know, so I had the legs diamond album. I thought, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but I knew she had some anthrax and I thought, Hmm. And she was into the new music as well. So I thought, well, maybe we'll just, you know, you were always working trades with your buds. Like, hey, I'll, I'll swap you this cassette or this album for this album. And, you know, here's Lisa. Like, that poor girl. You totally screwed her over yeah. knowingly. Screwed for life. Man. Yeah. Scarred for life. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. Well, that, uh, we're getting into a roast tattoo, but we won't go there. But anyway. Well, but no, what, it did come back to bite you later when you were, oh. like, selling your... I, I know I, I I got your Skid Row record oh. for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> you've got you got my Skid Row. you got a fat. you got a Pretty Boy Floyd album. You got a lot of... And yeah. you know what I ended up with? You want to tell what I fucking ended up with? A pack of Merit Ultralight 100s. <laughs> Who got hosed on that deal? Well, Lisa, you can feel better. I got him back a little bit for oh, you. So Lisa, the screws put to him, too. Bent over and, and, yeah, cleaned out real well. So uh, did Lisa have a uh, request she or did. she wanted to hear her? She did. She said, uh, could you please play Me Against the World by the incredibly talented Lizzie Borden? Okay. Or something by Legs Diamond. You can find it in the garbage. Ha ha. Ah, uh, no, no, Lisa. What you're going to do is you're going to find Legs Diamond right here, right now. Hard 80s radio. Thanks for the trade, hon. How about Cat and a Grinder? <laughs> Whatever. That <laughs> CD is going with me to the island. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that, that. good. Yeah, it is. It is. What other, uh, the island game? I mean, th- that's a tough, you know, I think that will be probably coming up. on. We could do a whole show on just about the, the island. island. And yeah. everybody, everybody has their favorites. So. Well, and yeah, we could totally put that out there on the Facebook page I, to see what people would bring to the island. What <sighs> What's your five CDs you can bring to the island? What's your five foods? Do you want to make yeah. it? Should we make it tougher? Should we make it just one CD? That no, I can't do that. Well, I could, but I'd be very unhappy on the island. <laughs> <You're>, listen, <laughs> and since I get to make the rules, no, we're bringing five things to the island. I've seen you in Bermuda shorts. You're going to be unhappy no matter where you're at. You don't do heat at all. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean that I don't look good in heat. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? I'm getting nervous. The cat just ran out of here. Anyway, <laughs> um, so. Cats and boots, yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay, I'm going to give you five. Give me your top five. You're going to take on the island with you. I I don't know. I mean, I know that first couple would obviously be kicks, blow my fuse. I'm not impressed. Keep uh, going. The uh, uh, second faster pussy cat. Yeah. That, I'll wake. <laughs> I'll wake me when it's yeah, over. Yeah. Right. And then, uh, boy, then that's where it starts to get tough. I I think that cats and boots would probably be there. The uh, mm. icon first icon that debut, might be there yeah that's absolutely i can live with that yeah and then i gotta save a, a spot for something else something I don't know classic what it be nothing from priest ozzy maiden uh, see that's tough because screaming for vengeance and diary of a madman should both be in there but then so should some scorpions and of course you know bgs and abba you what? can't forget about those. Whoa, what what <laughs> what what that's it <laughs> you can make your shotgun noise yeah, I apologize right now for Hammer's love of disco music. <laughs> I, I honestly, I'm sorry. 
And, you know, people are sitting around going, how the hell did he get this job? How, how can he be an authority in 80s rock when he's talking about the Bee Gees? And what was the other thing you mentioned? Yeah, I'm not talking anymore. Casey is a such Was no, it Casey? No. no. No, no, they're not going to the island. Oh, ABBA. That's what it was. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, ABBA's not going to the island. But uh, I've got my eye on you, boy. <laughs> All right. So Hammer has... We, we need an intro for this. Yeah, we need a cool rock news for now, intro. Rock news. There All right, go. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, and uh, yeah, just a couple bullet points here that I got. Uh, Sebastian Bach is hearing how much fans miss him in Skid Row, uh, but he says that he's happy where he is right now and has no desire to turn back the clock. He said, I don't miss those days at all. You're talking about 1989. I don't walk around in 2015 missing 1989. I don't know anybody that does. I do. It's like, oh, I miss those days. Like, how corny is that? No, I don't. I just did a seven-week tour in America, and I don't associate those songs with 89 anymore. That's too bad, because here's the thing. I love 1989. I thought 89 oh, yeah. was like a pinnacle of my life, really. It's a, we're kind of on a downhill. We're on a, we're on a downhill <laughs> run right now. So been straight down the crapper right. since there. <laughs> but here's the thing. And I understand. I, I love Sebastian. You know, um, he's doing his thing. He's, he's having a good time. But... Compare his album sales with his new stuff to what was going on in 1989. Maybe he should get back and start thinking about 1989 a little bit and sell a few records. It wouldn't hurt. And he's been awfully mouthy out there. He's, he's you know, his antics from 1989 have followed him. The record sales have not. Yeah. And I'm not bashing him. I'm just saying, you know, people are so quick to denounce where they came from. Uh, you know, there was. Yeah, a, I don't know why you do that. The, you know, and, and we just passed the anniversary of Janie Lane's death. Yep, and I saw an interview not too long ago where you know uh, he was talking about it was cherry pie this, and cherry pie that. Now I couldn't get away from cherry pie, and I'm thinking, you know, dude, cherry pie probably put a Ferrari in your, in, in, <laughs> I'd your say. in your driveway, put Bobby Brown in your bed. I would, <laughs> I would, I would be baking cherry pie all day long if I were you. And then no disrespect, uh, Jane Lane. I mean, they had great songs, but yep. you know, listen, yeah, you yep. built the house. Don't bitch about the you know the price of insurance. Yeah, so, there, there you go. I'm right, right there with you. All right, what else you got?